tell me first of all, your name is? Uh, Erilyn Hughes. Okay. Hughes with an E-S? H-U-G-H-E-S, like Howard Hughes, but unfortunately no relation. <laughs> <laughs> all right. And um, who's her this friend? is Ara. She's named after my mother. That's A-R-A -A Hughes. She has her own website, her own email, babe at Erilyn, A-R-A-L-Y-M dot com. <laughs> so she has a lot of friends and a boyfriend named Reggie, and she gets around. How'd you get her? I uh, bought her as an accident in an auction, trying to be a nice person and bid on things at a silent auction, not ever thinking I would uh, take home a baby pig, but guess what? When was that? Oh, that was eight years ago. She's eight years old. So, um, eight years ago, the pig thing occurred. The pig thing occurred, and I found out very quickly that pigs are not like dogs and they're not like cats. You know how dogs and cats are not alike? Well, pigs are yet another avenue. They're not like either one of those. They have their own little idiosyncrasies and ways you have to do things to get them to do what you want or to be civilized in public or in your home. What did you first learn that... Uh... But on special occasions, like if we were on the David Leverman show or something, we would paint her nails. Perfect. Her hoofs, I should say. <laughs> well, what and did she do? What are we going to see here? Well, she... Um, Ava, do you want to... We have some guests today. Would you like to roll out the red carpet? Whoa! Okay. Red carpet. This is the kind of tricks that I have to do for my real estate clients who have children's birthdays, and, you know, when they buy a house. I talk about the pig, and then they always want the pig to come for a birthday party. So we do a lot of children's birthday parties, and we try not to do them in July and August because it's so hot. Yes, thank you okay. for coming out in the heat today, Eric. Oh, yeah. Actually, she's from a hot place, but you know they're spoiled like everybody else is. Her little house is air-conditioned, so she doesn't have to worry about it too much. All right, are we ready to roll out the red carpet? Okay. Roll it out. Nope. Negative. Start again. Or just could you get in the center, do you think? Let's get over in the center like you're supposed to. Okay. Now she uh, rolls out. Now I she actually rolled this out ac across a stage in the theater. Uh, that was uh, part of the entertainment between acts where the dancers changed clothes. So this little ballerina came out and rolled out the red carpet. So she'll go as far as it is it is. <laughs> Any kind of event we do, we always roll the carpet out first, then we do the little jump through the hoop second. Okay, Ava, hoop. All right. Hey. I should do that before a uh, football game. I would do that before uh, she a would do it through a football game if the cheerleaders would come along. Uh, want to get back in there. Want some more. Talk to me. Yes, be, be nice. Oh, and then don't say bad things. Can you say just nice, pretty, please? Can you? Okay. She loves the bobbin for apples. Looks forward to Halloween every year. It's her birthday. What's her favorite food of all? Oh, my gosh. Probably watermelon or kiwi fruit. Watermelon, kiwi fruit, apples, actually any kind of fruit. She will eat uh, carrots. We have quite a little uh, spread here from the top. You see that uh, she may look a little thin sometimes, but when you get this layout kind of smashed out, it's uh, it's quite a scene. Yeah, full, full layout. Uh, yeah. Well, like driven by. From the top. When she gets over this railing here, she'll get on there, and that tummy will spread out on each side. She looks like she weighs 600 pounds. Postcards and things like that. And then she has a real portrait that someone did of her. That's an original piece. And then she has all her toys and gifts, and she keeps them here in the, in the window. And right here, all you need to know about life I learned from a pig, and it certainly is uh, true, you know. Keep your snoot out of other people's business and don't exercise too much. She's taught me that one. Don't squeal on your friends. If you made your bed, then wallow in it. 
stick to a vegetarian diet. She is a vegetarian. Ham it up. Yeah, ham it up. She's uh, going to be on Discovery Channel, and uh, she's done. She's been in one film, Deep in the Heart of Texas. It's an independent film. I didn't even know exactly what it was, but I always wanted to take an art car to the art car parade in Houston. The only one was in Houston. And so, a uh, year before last, I uh, I did it. I uh, got this car painted. Sam Hurt uh, helped me. He's like a famous cartoonist. And uh, I put the pigs on parade and bacon in the sun on the back, and we put all this paraphernalia. And in a real parade, I have stuff glued and taped all over the top and the sides and the back of the car. It's just full of pigs. And then, of course, the real pig is inside uh, along with me, and she wears a white boa. And, um, you know, it's, it drives, and it's uh, street-worthy, and it's registered and all that good stuff. It's designed for parades only. Well, now, I kind of use it for other things. At Christmas time, I bring it out here as close to the highway as I can get, and I... Um, I decorate it like this year I had a car with greens and reds and everything and I have some bicycles in the in the tree and then I had a Santa Claus that you know and the reindeer was up in front and the Santa Claus looked like it had been run over by the car. It's not too tasteful really but that's what I did. And then uh, Valentine's came and it was really uh, sweet I thought. I had the car and then I made a really big purple and hot pink heart. A really big purple and hot pink heart. Heart, and on the inside I had the lettering that said, let me call you Swineheart. <laughs> so we thought that was pretty cute. So and I said, I think it's like a gardener who fell in and dug a big hole and fell in and can't get out. So then I added the other items there and kind of made a little interesting thing. And a lot of people know my house by these legs, which is kind of uh, surprising. But I have, uh, I, I put witches out here, mannequin witches that which at um, was, Halloween time. What was the reason for the bicycles in the tree? Well, I just saw some bicycles beside the road, and I just liked them. And I knew they didn't run because they were giving them away and they were really out in the trash. So I thought, where could I put those things? I think I would like them up in the tree, so that's what I did.